here's a view of how programmers think about the machine. Right? There's a CPU and there's memory. Uh, and in the CPU we have uh, something like memory, a little shadow memory that's much smaller, that's more immediately available, um, and where the locations, instead of having general addresses like 1, 2, 3, have special names like percent %RBX. And among those registers is one particularly important one called the instruction uh, instruction pointer or program counter. Right? Uh, different people use different words, so that's why its name is percent %RIP, instruction pointer, even though I'm calling it program counter uh, following the book on the slide. Um, and that register has an address that is a location in memory where the next instruction is coming from. Right? And it also has some condition codes that are exposed in various ways and set in various ways. So certain instructions, like a comparison instruction, the way it communicates its result, um, we're not in a high-level language where you have function calls and operators with results. Instead, an effect of running this instruction, uh, this comparison instruction, is to set some condition codes. And then other instructions will do different things based on the current state of the condition codes. Meanwhile, we have memory over here, which is byte addressable. The CPU sends over addresses to get data back, or it sends addresses and data to set data in memory, um, or it sends an address over and gets instructions back from memory. Uh, usually, we don't write programs that send instructions and write them back out into memory, um, unless you're writing the operating system or a load or, or a just-in-time compiler that's generating code at runtime. So that's the view that the instruction set is built around. And then we can roughly categorize the instructions that the CPU recognizes, right, that are fetched out of memory uh, at some address and, and executed. Right? Some of them are arithmetic expressions, uh, instructions, so they manipulate values and registers to add them or multiply them, or we're counting bitwise operations here as arithmetic, so uh, shifting and anding and oring at the bit level. Um, various instructions to do that. Some other instructions are data instructions that transfer values to memory or from memory into registers and so on. And then another category is control instructions. So those are the ones that manipulate the program counter but have the effect of implementing a branch or a function call or something like that in your program. These are rough categories and they're not uh, completely distinct, like there are instructions that push onto the stack in memory and also change the program counter to jump to a function. Um, but uh, still, it's helpful to have this general idea of arithmetic data and control instructions.